So there's a really fascinating story with Buddha, which is that he was like on the verge of death. So he had like, because people will say like fasting will help you attain higher states of meditation. There's some good scientific evidence of that. And so he starved himself to the point of death. And so he was like stick thin. And a young girl walks by with like a pail of rice pudding. And she sees that clearly there's like this, you know, monk or something who like really looks like he's in bad shape. His skin is gray. He's all skin and bones. And she's like, do you want some rice pudding? And he's like thinking about it. And he's like, you know what? Yeah, I do. I've been on the brink of death. None of the shit is working. I've been studying. I've been trying to become enlightened for so long. It's all a scam. And he gets frustrated. He has the rice pudding. It's the most delicious thing he's tasted. And then he goes and he sits under the tree and he's like, it. I'm done with enlightenment. I'm <laughs> done with meditation. And he just sits there and enjoys the rice pudding. And that's when he becomes enlightened. Yeah. So it's kind of bizarre, but even the desire for enlightenment is a desire that will keep you from enlightenment. Sure. And the last thing you have to give up is the desire for enlightenment. <laughs> so it's kind of weird. Yeah.